Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Everybody's gone to the rapture. So let's continue with this. Right, where's the next? Right, can't see the light anywhere. Oh, there's the the uh, the siren. It looks like there is a light thing over by this one here. Is burnt. That's the that's the air. Is it the air? Can you hear a radio somewhere? Oh, what's the light doing all the way back up there? Jesus. Now I heard a... Now where was I when I heard the... What's in here? Got the telescope up and running again, but the pattern has burnt itself off to the lens. It's soaking up light and radiation, but not routing it anywhere. So I can only guess that it's using it as an energy source in its attempts to communicate. It needs more power. I wonder if I could boost the reception by using multiple towers. Right, where was the light going now? I thought that was it through there, it's not really. Oh, there it is there, right. God, what a lot of walking around for bloody... Trying to find this bloody fucking light. It's starting to really annoy me. I mean, why couldn't it have shouted out to me when I was down here? Speaking of that, where the hell is, is the bloody light now? It was down here before. Must be coming up for the end of Stephen's part, I think. Music's changing. But that was a bloody light. <laughs> right, light, where are you? Jesus Christ. Oh, this light is pissing me off. I can't really seem to bloody keep up with it. Because this game's so bloody slow at walking. Hopefully they're going the right way. Oh, for fuck's sake, light, where are you? For fuck's sake. Where is this fucking light? Can't even find my bloody way back out here now. Fuck. Fuck is this orange light, man. Go on, you fucking arsehole. Show your face. Oh, I haven't seen this light in ages, man. Come on, for fuck's sake. Oh. How can this fucking light be? For fuck's sake. Where is this fucking light? It's as if I can bloody hear it, but I just can't fucking see it. How oh, best, Graham? Fuck. Morning, Frank. You look a little out of breath. What's up? Bloody observatory gates have failed. I came to see if I could borrow a ladder. Bloody hell, there's a 12 foot drop the other side of that wall. I'm old, but I'm not useless. No. Can I borrow the ladder? No one said you were useless. Reese? Hi, Frank. Bet you go in the ladder, will you, lad? It's round the side of the barn. Will do. And you be careful. I don't want Stephen Appleton coming mithering round here because you've broken your neck. Oh, 
Right, so I still don't know where we're going after this because I still can't see a movie light. Oh. All the power spiked with the last discharge and then went out again. And I could see the Aurora dancing around Tower 6. At the same time, the headache the intensified. Aurora Borealis. I began to hallucinate. <laughs> Old and new memories are clashing and tumbling around me. We're on the cusp of a breakthrough. I can feel it. This one's really annoying me because there's no light, so I'm having to just literally wander about and try and figure out where the story goes, and it's a nightmare. Oh, come on, like, where the hell are you? Everything's leading me back to here. Is that it up there, the fucking lighthouse? It fucking is, isn't it? Oh, you fucking bastard. You weren't there fucking before. You little motherfucker. God damn it. Gonna have to edit out all of this shit because that's fucking almost 50 minutes. So there's obviously something here I haven't done. No, oh, is it here? Or is this the end of Steven's story? My name is Frank Jacob Appleton. And if you're listening to this, then maybe Stephen was right. And by sending the planes, he stopped it all getting worse. It's a beautiful morning. I wasn't there when Mary died. I was too scared. So I went to the pub instead. What will be, will be, Frank, she said. And I just want you to face it with me. And I didn't. But I will now. I will face it with you now, Mary. They're coming. Let's follow this now. So he's seen the plane twi planes now twice. Once with uh, Wendy and once with um, at the end with Frank there. <laughs> Do you think that could be the end of Frank's one <laughs> that I missed? Before going into Lizzie, but I hope not. Because <laughs> I was looking for the end for Stephen there. It took me ages. Hey, what's going on? Where's the... Yeah, that was Frank's ending. Oh, you bastard. Well, I think so. Because it's not giving us anyone else's thing and that looks like our lead into Lizzie. Did they close the tunnel? There's no trains. I've put up a sign. The tunnel, Howard, is it closed? I think so. I don't like it. It's not right at all. Stop whining. It doesn't help anyone. Did you know you're bleeding? Oh, it's this headache. It's just killing me. I haven't had a nosebleed like this since I was a kid. But you've not been to the village? No, I've been here the last couple of days or at home. 
I've only spoken to Clive at the EMC on the phone. Well, tried to anyway, but with all the crossed lines... It'd be... But no direct contact with any other people. No, no one. What are you talking about? What's going on? It's the pattern. It's adapted again. It doesn't need direct contact to transfer. It's using the phones. What do you mean, direct contact? Stephen! And again, the fucking light's gone. Where are we going? Up here? Yeah. Right, no, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. This fucking light does my tits in. Stephen, I don't know if you'll ever listen to this. Uh, maybe you've decided to stay with Kate, and I, I can't blame you for that. But I can't wait for you either. I've got to think about the baby. And, well, <laughs> I should have left a long <laughs> time pregnant. ago. I've run out of excuses for not leaving now. But I do love you, Stephen. And I hope you find peace one way or another. Oh, there's planes coming. Can we see the planes and where their stuff's landing? I mean, this is just craziness. I can't seem to find the end of this bloody thing. I'm finding other endings, though. I've never seen it. They do, though. I just don't understand this. Oh. They stare at me. <laughs> Yesterday, I went into the village, and this old woman just stopped in the middle of the street and stared at me like I had two heads. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. <laughs> I'm like a walking freak show. Oh, this place. It's so insular. I just don't understand how you grew up here. Well, I was very different then. And they're not so bad, really. That's easy for you to say. Just give it a bloody chance, Kate. This was the deal. A year here, and we could be in with a real shot at Messiah. Stephen! Oh, Christ, it's Lantham. Stephen Appleton, I thought it was you. What's all this about a young wife? Oh. Um, hello. Uh. Two heads, Stephen. Hi, I'm Kate. Right, like, there's no point getting angry with me. I mean, you're the one that's bloody leading me on a wild goose chase. I can't seem to bloody yet get the end of this bloody Steven chapter. Jesus, man, what do you dent your face? It's nothing. You collecting feed? Looks like the supplies have been coming in. Huh. Again? The phones are all strange. I can't pinpoint the logic of transmission. You what? What are you doing with that paint? Means the EMC are actually moving at the proper speed. Listen, Frank, 
Have you uh, heard anything on the radio about a flu outbreak? Doesn't seem much like flu to me. They're shutting down access to the valley to try and isolate it. No, there's something about the phones. I can't put my finger on it quite yet. What are you talking about? Hey, I'm still talking to you. Where are you going? Wait, where are you taking me now, Lee? <laughs> it's just our last forever. Oh, this is just mental. Right. Right, what do you want me to do, Lee? You can't just hover about and just like that. Oh. Jesus Christ. I think I go in here. Right. Appleton! What are you doing here? You thieving bastard. I knew it was you. Listen, take everything you need. But then you this have to This is Sam leave. and Stephen. You don't understand. You can't be near me. Painting his stupid little pictures. Stealing food. You always were a little prick. Please, every second we're in proximity makes it worse. I'm a primary conduit. You're a fucking disgrace. Come here. Don't touch me. Get off. What's going on? Come in here. Lord. Jesus, Get out Sam. Us. Thinking you're so much better Sam, than you are. Sam, No physical you contact. You stupid fucking missus. Sam, stop she's it. better than any of you. <laughs> Sam? Meg, please. Don't, don't come near me. Meg! <laughs> Charlie! Meg! Meg, wait! <laughs> don't touch me! Meg, please, you have to understand, it was an accident! Get off her! Let go, let's just go! Charlie, you have to understand, it was an accident! Let's just leave him, leave him! What have you done, Appleton, you bastard? Come on, Charlie, let's Meg, just get Charlie, out of here! Meg, Charlie, please! Light, where are you leading me now? Now we can see the thing going through the power lines or the telephone lines. Now yeah, look at that, it going through the power, uh, the telephone lines. It's mental. This is all open now. Right, come on, keep up with it. Oh, sorry, there's lights here. The walking in this game is just so slow. Oh, there's a paint. found a fox. It had been hit by a car and couldn't walk anymore. My mum went spare, of course. Made him keep it in the shed. He was already slipping away from us then. He spent hours with that fox, telling it all about Italy and the villages they bombed there. I was... I was jealous, I think. But the fox got more of my dad than I did. But it was dying. That was clear. So one day, I snuck out, took it a sandwich for food. I was only eight. When it bit me, I remember the anger, the shock, the hurt. Running in, screaming from the garden, my mum panicking about rabies. My dad beat it to death with a spade. Later I found him crying. I'd done a Kent, son. That's what he said. I'd done a Kent, it was hurting you. That's just a poor, dumb, dying animal. It doesn't know it's hurting us. Christ help us, it's left the valley. It's everywhere now. It's been three hours since the planes went over. 
I haven't been able to reach anyone on the shortwave. I'm beginning to think I may have made a terrible miscalculation. me. You know what this is? What I'm gonna do? You want light? Fine. I'll give you light. After me, there's no one. You'll be all alone again. Forever. Like before. You've taken everyone I've ever loved from me. You made me do things I never even thought I was capable of. But if you think I'm coming with you... Kate? Wait. Stop. Kate. So it looks like Steven killed himself then. Oh wow, it's all o all around the place. Thanks for watching another video of Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Uh, if you liked it, whoosh, high five the like button. And if you want to see more, be sure to smash that sub button. And last but not least, remember, life's a game. So play it well. See you in my next video.